All right. Thank you, Ken. Thanks, Ken. Mm -hmm. All right. For 75 years, the Cafestian Carousels home was at the Minnesota State Fair. Generations, remember, riding this historic wood-carved carousel. In 1988, the carousel was going to be sent to New York, and it was going to be put up for auction and possibly divided up. But thanks to some alert fans, they quickly formed Our Fair Carousel nonprofit. They raised $1.1 million to keep it intact and to keep it in Minnesota for future generations. And now celebrating its 109th year, the carousel lives just outside Como Zoo in St. Paul. We sent Minnesota Live photojournalist Bill Mitticke there to see what comes around. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Confessions Carousel. This is a very special ride, very historic ride here in Minnesota. This year, it's 109 years old. In 1914, they built this carousel. Children of all ages, whether you're two years old or 92 years old, there's something about the carousel. Well, it brings back those childhood memories. Hi, I'm Tracy Tolzman. I'm the president of Our Fair Carousel, which owns and operates Confessions Carousel. A lot of grandparents come with their grandchildren, and they have certain recollections, and they'll ask, is this the carousel that was at the State Fair? We say, yes, one mile west of here, I should say, was the, is the State Fair, and that's where the carousel was for 75 years. And now it's been running in Como Park, since October of uh, 1999. Every one of the 68 horses goes up and down. They're all made out of wood, hand carved. Our lead horse, the number one horse on the carousel, is this horse right here. And you can tell it's the lead horse because it says right on it, PTC, Philadelphia Toboggan Company. And that's the company that made the ride. When we first acquired the carousel, it had been at the State Fair for 74 years, and it had never been repainted. But all of the horses had a real kind of yellowed look to them, and we very meticulously restored. This was the last horse that was restored because we didn't exactly know what we were going to do because it had been damaged in a fire 84 years ago, June 2nd. There was a fire at the State Fair, and about eight or nine of the horses were damaged. Now this one you don't notice so much, but the next horse over here, you can see how it was charcoal. The fire was very uh, prominent on this. And when we restored, we left a little window of what it looked like underneath. There's only two carousels in the country that have their original paint, and this is one of them. We're just very, very lucky that we, we have it. Wow, that's pretty. How many times have your kids ridden that? Uh, I don't, we rode the one at the Minnesota Zoo a lot. I'm not sure how many times they've been on that one. Couple? Yeah, my kids have been on it more like, they? every time we went to the zoo. Yeah. What's super cool about it is that every horse moves. Right, because some many, of them don't do that. Right, yeah. how many times as a kid are you one of the last on before the ride starts to yeah. go when you're on a horse and it doesn't do anything and you're bummed out? You get and the so boring the fact, one. Yeah, You don't get the lead those, horse. <laughs> all of them move, I think, is phenomenal. That was cool. All right, thanks, Bill. Hey, if the carousel looks familiar uh, and you don't remember uh, where you saw it last, let me, let me run through a little history there. Uh, it was at the State Fair. But a few years ago, a few years back, Carousel was located inside St. Paul's Town Square Park before transition to Como Park. Yeah, so in order to raise that $1.1 million that was needed to purchase the carousel from auction and then to upkeep it, our fair carousel started an adopt a pony program and sold the naming rights to Gerald Cafestian. Uh, if you want to adopt your own pony, some horses and chariots are apparently still available. Kind of cool. Donations for nameplates are from five to twenty-five thousand dollars, depending on which horse or chariot you choose. Carousel is also looking for standard donations and volunteers help the upkeep. Uh, we'll leave links for their hours or ways you can get involved on our website, MinnesotaLive.com.